floor, you have to break down that wall because that's where the pipes were. It's like, oh, because it costs a lot of money. Plus, now you're looking at, now you got to replace the ceiling and this, this, this. If they were to cover it, if they would drop us from the insurance. Now, mind you, have had the same homeowner's insurance since 1992. But also, coming inside the wall is covered in the homeowner's insurance. Really? I'd like, excuse me, but like plumbing inside the wall. I go, well, wouldn't plumbing inside the wall cause the most house damage if the pipe lets go? Because, well, yeah. I hang up, I looked at that, I'm like, it's not even covered, so why even bother? We got Troy. Water. You can just water. You can gush it out. Open up one of the side pieces here underneath. It. So I shut it off. The piles that came up took a look. There's water dripping from the bottom of our sheet metal. It's all insulated underneath. Yeah. So the guy comes up and takes a piece of pipe out, fixes it, and says, Yeah, some sort of animal chewed through the PVC pipe. Oh. Called insurance company. Guy comes up, yeah, it's covered. Unless it's, um, you know, the only we don't cover is um, um, mice and chipmunks and so forth. But we cover possums and, and like and animals. So the guy looks at it. No, that wasn't a possum. Right? There, there might be a mouse. What is? <laughs> you call by Schumacher on a piece of pipe. What type of animal it is? This is an insurance guy coming. So I went. So I had to get under there like last two summers ago. That's all that moldy crap out, stick the insulation in, duct tape it. It's so pissed. So now I have the bucket of death. Mm -hmm. the bucket of death. <clears throat> Five gallon bucket. I fill it up half with water. Yep. Put all the sunflower seeds in there, put a stick up. No, no. And every summer I'm up there and I'm knocking them suckers right. As they go up for the seeds, they jump in, see the seeds, whoop, drown. Because I'm not paying another, whatever, $1,000 to. Nice to have it on campus. It's unbelievable. A uh, um, couple that we know. Let's get a cat. Yeah, a couple that we know. They're um, camp over. They opened it up this summer. Infested. Get mice to do their cushions. Bring him down, we'll run him around the field. What is Sean be in there, Brad, or Jason? Sean wanted to use a truck. Jason told him to go pound. Go back so we go back to low. Now Sean's up. Yeah, yeah then the mice are chewed through all the sofa, through the bed, through everything. Hundreds of mice in the truck. It was, it was going to cost them thousands to get everything fixed. So I had to put a camper. I would have been scared that all the mice would go out. My girlfriend and built a new garage, and you know they haven't put the doors on yet because they're still in the process of building it. The mice got in the truck, ripped all the insulation underneath in the seat, built it all up into the engine. We spent over seven hundred dollars in damage in this truck. Then her truck had the same thing. They had this big huge nest in the air filter. And all the, they were gone one week, one week on vacation. They went to the Cape, and they came back, and she says all of a sudden, there are dogs on the side of the road. She brings it in. There's a whole family. They have to go in with a baby mice side of the road. So, they like the air filter for some reason. I think the air filter is pretty cool. I mean, how do they even get into that? And then she has this little party up convertible that has like maybe 150 miles on it. She's had it for a couple of years and then it's got 150 miles on it. She babies that thing. Right? And she's like, oh my god, my car. <laughs> they ripped that apart and the car was okay. Once in a blue moon we'll, we'll know there's a mouse in the house sometimes. We let go because we have a cat. They don't stand a chance in my house. When my mom moved into one of our apartments over the winter, she had two indoor cats. So in a night, it's been like three years since we've seen any evidence. So one night, Liz calls, I pulled up the night screaming. I'm like, Liz, okay, the thing's the size of your freaking thumb. It's not going to kill you. I think they're cute. They're just a menace. So um, 
And I'm like, you know what? I said, Liz, I guarantee you because I have a cat. My mom has a cat. Those mice are going, we're going to go visit. Go to place. We're going to go visit Liz. Liz doesn't have a cat. So I uh, Doug started, Doug set a trap in him. He said two traps, he got two. I haven't seen anything since. No signs of him or anything. Doug's even put a couple decoy traps up there just to see. Nothing. Now my mom's moved out and those people don't have a cat. So Doug's put one in there just to see. Nothing. And then on um, the week Liz was on vacation, she didn't listen to Doug. Um, Doug said, take the cheese out of the trap. Before you leave, it's going to smell like chicken cheese. And um, I went up there to get a book that she bought of mine that I needed to get back. And um, I walked past and next to her stove is where Doug put the trap. And I'm like, so I went down and said, like, Bobby, go upstairs or something for you put the gloves on. But um, we, have, we don't have them very often, but my cat, when we have one, all you find is the tail. But now our out doing the job. We used to have an outdoor cat. See, I get those green blocks and you know, they sell them at like um, Abachon and the hardware stores and everything. They're green blocks. It's a green package. Huh? Yeah, it's a green blocks. Yeah, you break off the pieces and you just throw them around the basement. Can it kill any other animal? Hmm. I don't think it can kill. What what it does is it makes them really really thirsty. So then they go out looking for water and hopefully they go out of the house looking for water. But if you have a bucket there, they'll dive into the bucket. And they'll they'll die because they just keep drinking and drinking. And drinking. So I know my friend up in New Hampshire is decline and her cat died. Her cat just all of a sudden died. Oh, I had a cat. And a so then she had another cat die. And um, the vet went and said, because her cat finger catch, she's like, there's no reason my cat should die. They were eating, they were eating the mice, and the mice had ingested decline. Oh. So the cats were getting basically secondary poisoning. Well, see, I have a crawl space underneath um, two of the rooms of my house. It's just a crawl space, and they love that. And no matter how many times you block the stupid thing off, they still get in there. So I just take those sticks, and I just throw them underneath there, and then block it off again. And then I don't have problems with mice. Because other, other than that, they like get in the walls, and you can hear them crawling up the walls. And the cat goes nuts. Oh, I haven't heard them in my walls yet. I tried to use that decon stuff on uh, chipmunks, I believe. And it was like a treat for them. It, it was gone in a minute, and I still saw the, you know, the I had two chipmunks coming up on my deck this summer, and I couldn't figure out why these little bastards were so friendly. Because actually, my sister's six month old baby was sitting on the deck, and she had these little stupid baby puffs she was eating, and the chipmunk ran up, grabbed the puff, and ran off. I'm like, right, this chip. Yeah. They shouldn't be so friendly. They should be scared of people. Like when I'd come out on the deck, they wouldn't mind. They just kind of I'm like, right, with the twins, I'm like, all I need is a chipmunk bite, you know? And I don't know if they have rabies, I would doubt about And um, sure enough, one day I'm looking and I hear Samantha, you guys are so cute, I love you guys. And she's got a box of cereal and she's. I go, Samantha, how long have you been eating the chipmunk? She goes, every day since they started showing up around here, she goes, I bring all the snack and feed them. And that's why my chipmunks are happy. So our neighbor's cat, one day I went out and I saw our neighbors have a black cat. The cat goes flying through my backyard with chipmunks. I haven't seen Dale around in a while. So. <laughs> I am all for some of the I'm not that I'm, you know, a hater of animals. But they make a, they're okay. They make a food in this suit. They dig through everything, go for them, and they forget it. Not. I'm going to try to knock them off with a beauty one that I have, but this stuff is going to move too fast. They're going to sit for a second. I'm going to get on, so. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Thanks, Frank. Yep, no problem. I won't be down here tomorrow night because okay. I have to take the books to get certified, but however yeah. you think you should be wrapped. Okay. Yeah, I'll throw it on. Are you told... going to the Jamboree on Saturday? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll watch you do it on Saturday. So yeah. then if you're not at practice next week, at least I know what to do. Not a problem. i got to stop by for Steve to see me. For my knee as well tomorrow as well. So I'll just touch base and yeah. see if there's any yeah. specific ones. Yeah, but that's sure fine. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and he doesn't need it. But I know last year, Elman, remember, he wanted a permission form. Remember for uh, Bobby, Dr. Elman wanted a permission form for you, for you to be able to talk.